I think I speak for most Americans when I when I say that if you if you put Mr. Sperling and his colleagues at the White House in charge of the Sahara Desert, they would run out of sand. They are hopelessly simple minded. Either that or they're just not telling the truth. Uh, the president's latest proposal is to uh, eliminate the 18 cent federal gas tax for three months. It, my, the average gas in my state's four bucks and 51 cents. Is four dollars and thirty-three cents better than four fifty-one? Sure, but uh, the price isn't going to stay at four thirty-three unless we do something. The only way to get gasoline prices lower is to flood this country with oil, our own oil, and guarantee to the industry that if in, it invests capital to do that that it will be allowed to get a return on its capital and that as soon as the crisis is passed, the Biden administration won't try to put them out of business. Mm. Because right now, the Biden administration is trying to put them out of business. Uh, the Biden administration has uh, blocked oil and gas leasing in the Gulf, blocked oil and gas leasing in Anbar, sick the FTC on the industry, uh, it's promulgating new NEPA rules so you wouldn't be able to build a pipeline in America. And, and those are all just facts. And I think, uh, I think Mr. Sperling is either, he's being very disingenuous. Um, that's, that's the most charitable thing I can say. You know what, let, let's remind everybody, this is a flashback to the debates. This is on October 22nd, 2020. And here's the back and forth on this issue between President Biden, now President Biden, and then President Trump. Watch. It has to be replaced by renewable energy over time, over time. And I'd stop giving to the oil industry, I'd stop giving them federal subsidies. So basically what he's saying question, is he is Mr. going President. to destroy the oil industry. Okay. Will you remember that, Texas? Will you okay. remember that, Pennsylvania, Oklahoma? Vice President Biden. In fact, just the other day, President Biden said that this opportunity provides us the moment to transition to these other areas. And I think most Americans, Senator Kennedy, are not opposed to investing in and discovering new forms of energy and new ways to uh, to propel the country. But just you just can't close down the industry that provides us everything we have right now. No, you can't. And, and President Biden's energy policy is uh, wind, solar, and wishful thinking. And that's not going to power the, the, the most powerful economy in all of human history. Look, Martha, we're, we're in a, it's time for, I'm disappointed in Mr. Sperling, it's time for the games to end. Uh, we're in a hell of a mess here. I inflation is hitting my people so hard, they're coughing up bones. Our, our national debt is greater than our national output. Um, crime is way up. The border's wide open. Respect for our institutions is way down. 70% of the people think this country is headed in the wrong direction. And, and the economists who work for President Biden know this. The only way to get the price of gasoline down is to increase the supply. The only way to increase the supply of gasoline is to increase the supply of oil. The only way to increase the supply of oil is for the Biden administration to get its boot off the neck of the oil and gas industry. He hates them. I mean, he, he, you know, he, he, he mocked them, he the president, mocked them yesterday, and they're coming to the White House, and he won't even deign to meet with them. I mean, when somebody acts like they don't care, sometimes it's not an act. I know my Republican friends claim we're not producing enough oil, and I'm limiting oil production. Quite frankly, that's nonsense.